Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, I'll be showing you one of the huge security risks that might be present in your application and you might not even know about it. As a beginner, I had done these mistakes and in today's video, I'll be showing you those mistakes and how to solve them. If you are a beginner, then you might not even know what a blunder mistake that you are doing and I had done this mistake in my earlier days. But nowadays, in each and every application I make, I make sure that I don't make these mistakes. So without any further ado, let's get started. As you can see here, I am here in the dashboard route. I'm currently logged in as a user one. Here you can see title and description of a post and some of the posts are listed over here. If I show you here in the database, I have these user one and user two over here and post you can see here I have five posts. But if you see here in the dashboard page that I have only shown three latest blog posts. Let me show you that over here in the dashboard controller. You can see here the posts. I am only taking the latest three and inside the dashboard index, I have this form and this description or body and here I have save and I am submitting this to this dashboard.save post URL. And over here, you can see here I am looping through the posts and just showing the title and the body. And the blunder mistake is over here. I'll show you what a hacker can do if you just do it like this. And below this code, there is nothing. I have commented this script, which I'll be using a little bit later. So here, what I can do is I can just create a post from here by adding the title, description and saving. So let me just go over here in the dashboard controller and this save post over here. I am validating the title body over here and getting those data in the data. And here I am adding the currently logged in user ID and creating the posts like this and returning the message with this. So for now, let me refresh the page and fill in the data over here, just like a normal user, let's say. And now if I save it, then you can see here post created and that is shown over here. It is working perfectly fine. But now let's say if a malicious user entered some script over here, then that script will also get executed because over here, if I show you, we have done it like this. First of all, let me show you by adding a simple script. Okay, let's say good post and here let's say like this script slash script and let's say a lot like this and let me save it now you can see here whenever i save then it will show an a lot like this and now if i just log out from here and log in as a separate user let me go over here let's say user let's say two okay before I was logged in as user one. Now let me log in as user two. Let's say password over here and log in. Now you can see here whenever any user logs in, then this alert will be shown. Because if I show you over here, let me close this. If I show you over here, this was the post submitted by the previous user, which is user one. And let me just zoom it for you guys. And over here, you can see that script over here and HTML just runs whatever it is inside this script tag. So you must be very careful whenever you are using this. The one solution is not to use this, but use this one. So let's say dollar post body like this. And if I just run it, then you can see here, it will just show the script tag as it is and it will not execute that. But let's say you have a text editor where you are allowing users to enter HTML and you are allowing them to make the text bold or add some paragraphs. Then doing this is not a solution. We need to use this one. So again, it refreshed whenever I saved the code. So it is showing that alert over here. Now let me just remove this code from here for now. So from the database, let me just remove it. And now let me again come here, refresh. That alert was a very simple code that a malicious user has entered in our application, but a user can add any kind of JavaScript in our code. So let me show you one of the JavaScript that I have created over here. This is the JavaScript code here. This is the, let me just uncomment this one first. So here you can see I have injected the Axios and configured it just to use the CSRF token and I'm generating ram random number over here. What I am doing is, let me just comment this thing for now. What I'm doing is just I am generating a random title and body 
and posting it to the same route whenever we click here in the save okay whenever we click on save it will post to a certain route and this thing will do the same thing and it will do in the interval of five seconds but a hacker can do in an interval of one second or some milliseconds okay so i'll just copy all this code from here and let me comment this out and let me minify this one from this website this one okay so here i just add the code over here and click on minify and after i minify this it will look like this now let me copy it to the clipboard and let's say i am a malicious user now i am logged in as a user 2 and let me add a title over here a new blog let's say a new wonderful blog post and here let's say this is the description and here i can add the script the script slash the script like this and i'll add it like this and i will also add this axios because i am using axios okay so here i'll add this thing over here so i have added this thing and let me click on save now you can see here it is created now let me log out from here and if you see here in the database okay you can see here this is created now let me log in as a separate user user one so here let's say user one and password now so what i am doing is i have just logged in as the user one and user one is very innocent the user one doesn't know what the user two has done but if we look here in the network request you can see here let's say this uh, fetch slash xhr and you can see here so many ajax request is being sent at the interval of five seconds and this is saving some random post to our database as if it was being posted by the user two now if we see here in the database and let me refresh over here you can see here user one this is the id of the user one and all these posts are being created and the user one is very innocent and he doesn't know anything about it but eventually the user will know about it and sometimes the hacker can inject such malicious code that it would be very difficult for us to know about it this is a very simple thing that a hacker can do and let me refresh the page over here and now you can see here so many random posts are being generated now there will not be any script so it will not be visible because that post which has the script is not visible but let's say if i hadn't done over here this limit over here then it would show me all the posts yeah so let me do it so and you can see here our malicious code this one it is over here this one and let me just inspect and you can see that script is over here this one and this one it will execute all this code at the interval of five seconds which means that our database will be filled with junk data and we'll only know about this after one of the good users of our website will complain to us so you have seen the problem over here now let us see the solution let me add the limit over here so that my database will not be flooded with the random data so let me refresh over here and these are the data shown over here so now let us look at how to solve this issue in a different way we saw one solution previously but that is not a practical solution the second solution is to purify the html whenever we are saving it to the database or whenever we are displaying it on the html and we can do that by using some of the wonderful laravel packages that are available and one of those packages is this one steve purify we can install this so let me just copy this thing from here and let's say over here let's say valet composer require steven purify and this is one way and i'll show you one more way of how to solve that issue so this package is now installed and if you see here we have to just call this thing and it will just remove this all the scripts from here you can see here whenever we run this purify clean then it will remove the script and only show this php over here which we actually need we don't need this script so here let me just go over here let me just copy this one first and let me go over here in the index and here in the body let me say purify clean and let me wrap it inside this okay so this one is the clean method 
okay now let me go over here in the database and refresh and you can see here so many random data let me just remove all this except hackers post up to here let me just delete it now let me again come here in the lara tips and refresh and if i just go over here then we can see the same thing over here but if i inspect over here and just show you you can see here there is no script which means that the package that we have used has stripped that script tag away from here so whatever the hacker or the user one has injected in our website that is not working and this solution is much more better than that of the previous one we can easily show the bold italic or some paragraphs in our website without risking about the script injection so you can either do this or there is a separate way of doing the same thing let me just undo this thing from here and let me show you that over here so on the package so here we can do casting over here if you just see over here below we can do this so let me just go over here in the posts model and here let me add this and let me import this thing and it is imported successfully over here now let me just uncomment this thing let me come over here in the lara tips and refresh then again let me inspect it then you can see that script is showing over here oh sorry this is the body so we have to write here body like this and let me come here and refresh the page it has already generated some random posts so let me again come here and refresh those posts or sorry delete those posts and let me again come here and refresh and you can see that hackers post over here and let me inspect over here and you will not see the script tag over here so we don't have to always remember to use this class that above class that we used before whenever we are using the body it will automatically use that under the hood whenever we use casting so till now we have seen two solutions and for this solution to work we have to use external package but let me show you one more solution to this problem for which we don't need any package we can make use of the headers for that let us create a middleware so that for each and every request we'll use that header and the header name is content security policy I'll be leaving the link of this website just below that like button you can read about this and all the content security policy what we can use and all the values that you can use on those content security policies keys basically we can allow or disallow some of the things like scripts styles fonts anything either they can be used in our website or not or some of the inline scripts or some external scripts that can be executed in our website or not we can control all of that using this header so for that let us create a middleware so php artisan make middleware prevent inline script execution i have already created this middleware so you can see here it is like this so by default whenever you create a middleware it will look like this but we need to do some changes on this middleware so for this let us assign this to a response and then return the response it is the same thing as previous one so just before sending the response we will attach some headers to it so here response headers set content security policy and script src if you see here there are so many things that we can set from here so here you can see so many things but we want to control the scripts because most of the time the malicious users will exploit our website using the script so here in the script src let me write here lara test because this is the domain name over here okay whatever the domain name you have you can write that over here and let me write this localhost url because internally laravel uses bit and it is using this url whenever i ran npm run dev basically what we are saying is whatever the scripts that are present in these websites only run those only allow these things so here i am also adding this fonts.googleapis.com because inside here app.blade.php we are using this fonts.googleapis.com so we need to add that also and if you are using any other external javascript urls like unpackage or js deliver you are using those cdn then you can write those over here now i am writing this on safe eval because if i don't write this then alpine js will not work let me show you that over here so here like this this is the thing that i have added over here content security policy now in order to 
use this header we need to apply this middleware to each and every request so here i'll go here in the app http kernel and here i'll add inside this web middleware group i'll add that because i want this middleware to be present in each and every request so here the name of this middleware is this so i'll write here this and import it and class like this now if i come here and refresh the page and go here in the console then i am seeing a bunch of error over here you can see here alpine js expression error refused to evaluate a string javascript because this is not allowed in the source so in order to run the alpine js i have to write this over here on save eval so now if i come here and again refresh then you can see here the console is clean and also let me remove the package that we are using over here let me just comment this thing from here and let me refresh over here and you can see here the magic of that header refuse to load the script this axios.min.js because it violates the following content security policy directive so we are not allowing the axios in our this headers so it is not able to execute that axios if you see here in the index we are using axios over here but let's say in our website we are also using some of the libraries or some js files from this unpackage.com so for that to work we have to write that domain over here as well so we had written this thing over here and if we add this over here then this thing will get executed obviously it is not being executed whatever the user one the malicious user has entered in the description that code is being executed this is the same code that i have copied so i am showing you that from here so now let me refresh the page the axios code or the axios error that has been gone but again it is showing me this error but let me show you that over here this one you can see that script is still over here and here in the network tab you can see here no any request is being sent because using this content security policy we are not allowing the inline script to get executed and this is the inline script you can see over here this is the inline script that is in our html so it is not allowing this script to get executed but if we write this script inside our any js file and include that in our html then it will work so it will not allow any external script any malicious user enters in our website to get executed and this will make our code very very safe but let's say if you also want this inline script to run then you can write another value over here which is this unsafe inline but i would not recommend you to use this if you just write this unsafe inline then inline script will also get executed from our website and any malicious code or any script that has been entered into our website by any hacker will also get executed so let us not do this let us only do this and run it then you can see here everything will be perfectly fine except the inline script will not run and let's say in the future if we want to allow some of the other domains in our script then we can just add that over here so guys if you have watched till the end of this video then you are the most awesome person in the world and please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and like button if you like this video and let me know in the comment section video which method you liked the first one the second one or the third one so thank you for watching have a great day bye